OG. This podcast episode is brought to you by Atopia Life Herbos or Cannabis and Culture Combine. For a one of a kind experience, visit them at 10A West Kings House Road, just across the Canadian Embassy. Also, follow them on Instagram at Itopia Life or visit their webpage at itopialife.com for latest info and strains and merch. This podcast is also brought to you by Lothian's Boutique. Follow them on Instagram at Lothian's Boutique and you can check them out at 23 West Straightway in Portmore. And you can use my code Ariane 10 to get 10% off your next one of purchase. Shout out Shark Cut Barber, so the sharpest of cuts. Sheen. Hit up Shark Cut Barber's located at 9 Branch Chuff Square. You can go follow Steve right there on Instagram. You see me? Also, we have to big up all of our Patreon. is going to big up the whole Patreon squad, especially the fixed national them. Richard Vaughn, DB Tamogood, and Zach E. If you want first access to content, exclusive content, bonus content, you can support us at patreon.com slash fixja. To get access to all of them things, you see me? All I wonder, I feel like a next purpose this could serve was to show, say, yo, I'm me a demand for the year. Okay. And you bring up intense. I know there, that there's some sort of affiliation there, but I feel we can all agree, say, them three man in a competition for you who are the top artists for the year. Agreeable? I mean, they're all in competition with everybody. With what everybody but in them three man, they would seem like they are the main three protagonists mm-hmm. this year mm-hmm. for who take the year. Yaks in the con- uh, in the conversation. We need to call somewhat in the conversation. But I feel like the work, the bodies of work that, that have been the put four out. Front, they're, that, they're at the forefront. These, them three, yeah. two and of them. the things that they've been doing and yeah. the things that they've gained. Two like of the them put out at the, least the, two projects this year. The Crocodile Tea. Yeah, that as well. Um, Yeah, Intense Project wasn't bad. The first project, the second project, yeah. Yeah. Um, Alkaline Project wasn't bad either. Mm-hmm. Um, could be said that, and even could be said based on numbers it it is the biggest project mm-hmm. out of dancehall this year mm-hmm. i think no. that excuse me country youths country youths never beat it yes no it did not oh it's just a spice cartel yeah. yes exactly oh. yeah yeah you're going to make the cacas in my talk right now <laughs> well yeah based on numbers out of the three his project sold the best mm-hmm. while it could be seen that Skilly Bang had the biggest W with the Nicki Minaj collab. Even though people them really ruined that one. So. Yeah, let's let's get over it. A few people get that night don't ever bring up how it was released. People say, oh, it, it released? Yeah. Who care how it released? <laughs> It's like saying you come. I don't give a fuck how <laughs> yeah. you come. Yeah, you come, no? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. You come, no? Oh, wow. Okay. Girls, but yeah, but it hurt, but you come. <laughs> I didn't come with you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, so, the, the best selling project, Alkaline, the biggest W could be said is Skilly. And Intense, it could be said this, this song of the summer. Yeah, oh, boys. And there've 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 been some competition Yo, with with headlines throughout the early summer. We have summer. We haven't really had a summer. <laughs> but our one, oh, when fine. you see the the, the 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 videos of the illegal parties and even the the the, the, the legal parties overseas, mm-hmm. you see say yo, it take off. It take off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So who would you say? Subscribe. Let's give definitive answers here. Who do you say take the year so far? Oh Lord. You oh, so all of them three people, eh? Yes, who we've established are the main Based three off main the main things that they've done mm. throughout the year. God. Mm. It's weird. It's weird to say. It's difficult to say, truly. Mm. Because that, the, the, albeit, yeah, the, the alkaline, the, um, the skilly bang collaboration with Nicki Minaj is a really big fucking deal. A big deal. You know, he entered Billboard Hot 100. Big deal. Um, 
but the alkaline album was good mm-hmm. but then that's i feel like that's the only main thing for alkaline like really that stand out to me for the year hmm. the, 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 it's a big thing though so it's, it's a major deal the big thing you know um, within the bubble of course yeah within the bubble mm-hmm. um the intense song Oh, a good boys. song, and I think, and I think, he, he, little, <laughs> intense has consistently, you know, like he has, he has had a consistent year. Hmm. So I think the edge for me would be intense. He hmm. has had a very consistent year. Like hmm. the songs that him put out, um, I don't, I don't dislike them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the Yahoo boy though, despite it's, you know. Very weird lyrical content and mm. the video and the gun, the obvious shit. But um, the song is catchy. You're right that it's the song of the summer. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I think intense kind of edge it out for me. Mm. Just a little, just a little. Kakas prepare on herself. Think alkaline. Mm. Think alkaline. Mm. Here's why. Mm-hmm. This has been skilly bang. Mm-hmm. True, true, people. true. Up, down, up, down. And I feel similarly with Intense. Really? With the second project. I think it's more like a... Mm, with the second project. And then but, it but dip a little, but then it kind of just... Mm. All right, hear, hear my reasoning. I don't think he has experienced quite a high as skilly. Which, okay. Right? Mm-hmm. And it could be said that him second EP project that him drop mixtape whatever mm-hmm. yeah coming like a fart now mm-hmm. the mixtape him drop earlier really good mm-hmm. this has been our guy straight line so you think that is a straight line straight line i think skill i think intense is a little bit straight line too because i don't think so don't not think, to me personally I don't think, not I don't to me think, personally i don't think the mixtape was such a bad thing like it was a bad effort like yeah it was just like uh, mm. but it's like a slight the, the, the card, the, the, wait differentiate when it's a mixtape because i think what i'm job earlier in the year was a mixtape so. in my EP, name. I, it's just a second project <laughs> in second jo- project why i'm dropping i don't remember name. differentiate it like that yeah. okay the second project whatever me don't remember but then, like he yeah. collaborated with Sean Paul too and the song that he did with Sean Paul was a really good song mm. and, that know, was a good look as well yeah i don't know i think i don't know i guess maybe i connected more with off more off with to the young boss it was Inten- like I said, Skilly I, Bang. Yeah. <laughs> with, with intense songs. You want to give some love to Skilly? Yeah, no. I mean, as I said, I, I think he had the the best high mm. out of all three Could of be them. Said, like, yeah. With that Nicki Minaj collaboration. He had the best high. Mm. But you're right that, you know, it's very it's been very sporadic. Very sporadic. With both of them. <laughs> I, I could be said that both of them have, have had some highs and some lows. Who, Skilly and Intense? And Intense. Guess. outside and, and inside our music yeah with with what the controversy surrounding them throughout the year intense with the Cayman thing with the girl and him awkwardness there skilly bang with the batch release of said Nicki minaj mm-hmm. collab mm-hmm. and the whole my girl who shall i don't remember her name right now it's coming like she drop off of the face of the earth that coming like a stain upon him name too as, at least that's how him treat her only Milan. Oh, she. Oh, yeah. she. Oh, she. Yeah. Oh, she. Coming like she not existing anymore. Mm-hmm. Like that. Mm-hmm. You see me? Some other little things, of course. While I just feel like with Alkaline, everything with him, music. Not really. I remember I said the, the video. Well, maybe it was like a bad video that won't be posted. But of his intents with BRT. And, okay. Uh, there, there was that. There was that. Yeah. There was that. Yeah. But. We we have acknowledged how things within a, a couple of seconds can look yeah, bad. Yeah. We we've we've acknowledged that. Yeah. Right? And the caca has them will swear say you know have a much better performance like a couple of weeks after or so. So, yeah. so we can give him a little pass. There. So you see up and down. Him, of course, everybody gotta have an up and down, but well, I, I get it's it, subjective all right, anyways. See, see if me, him like yeah, me choose intense. While leave is, me alone. You, all right, you choose intense. But done, the argument done. <laughs> choose intense. Jesus. You choose this side, I hear you say. Yeah. It's within the same family in our go on, so yeah. Kinda of sorta. Of. Let's choose intense. <laughs> but can't do uh, the argument now. Okay. I'm mm-hmm. gonna say alkaline. Mm-hmm. But the year's not over, I could say. Mm-hmm. You see me? If 
if an actual lyrical clash come out of that whole thing, yeah, mm-hmm. I think this will it will serve as to as to something what we can use for determine who will take there. Hey girl, good pussy bring good vibes. Good vibes, good vibes. As me start fuck you, so me start drive. You pum pum give me visa for fly. There's something I fi go on, why me can't look it? Me get a house when I know when you go leave me. Say something I fi go on, no skin teeth and no nothing funny. Me tired and no want enough money. There's something I fi go on, my time no.